Good morning everybody and welcome back to another Vlogmas video. So last week you will have hopefully seen my decorating for Christmas Vlogmas part one and today we are back for part two. So plans today have already changed slightly. The original plan was that I was going to spend a big chunk of the day out of the house um, it's our Christmas light switch on in the town where we live today So I was going to go out and see some of the things that are going on in town finish off the Christmas shopping um, And just spend a good few hours in town Taking in all the Christmassy stuff, maybe even stay for the actual light switch on um, But that has changed <laughs> That plan was made when I thought Richard was going to be off work. This is usually his weekend off um, But he's had to go into work so there's nobody here for the dog to sort of walk him and everything um, I've also got a couple of parcels that are due to be delivered today uh, And also it is pouring down like on and off all morning it has poured down So I don't really want to be spending hours outside of the house So I'm still going to film today, it's still going to be a lovely Christmassy day But the plan has just changed slightly So I'm still going to go into town because I do need to go to the bank anyway um, so I'm going to take you with me. We'll see what Christmassy stuff is happening I'm not sure what will still be able to happen when it's pouring down if everything will still be on But we're going to go and we're going to have a look anyway I need to go into M&S so we'll have a look at some of the like Christmas stuff and Christmas food and that in there um, I need to buy some Christmas presents, but obviously I'm not going to show you that But we'll have a look at what's going on in town um, I do need to try and drop off some Christmas presents as well so I'm going to take those with me to try and drop off. Hopefully I'll be successful. Normally I end up where I've still got presents to deliver like the week before Christmas. And I really hate that because it just makes it stressful. So this year I've got them all done and wrapped, ready to deliver. So that hopefully I can get most of them given out before it's even December. And then I can just enjoy Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring you into town with me. I am going to try and get some bits and pieces to do some Christmas baking this weekend. I really want to do some baking. So I'm going to show you that when I do that as well, if I can get everything that I need. Um, but it's just going to be a nice festive day. I'm going to be watching some Christmas movies. I've got a Christmas book that I haven't started yet. So I'm going to bring you along for all of the festivities. So if you are excited for this Vlogmas video, please do give the video a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please do click that subscribe button. And yeah, I just hope you enjoy this festive video. Okay, so I'm on my way into town and as you can see, the weather is absolutely miserable. Um, this isn't exactly what I had planned for today. Hopefully there'll still be some Christmassy stuff to share with you. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what there is. But in this weather, I'm not sure how much is going to be happening. Now I'm going to go and have a look at some of the Christmassy foods and stuff like that in M&S and Iceland. And then I think we'll finish the Christmas shopping. A bit disappointed with the Christmas events going on as I expected there to be um, but if there is anything I'll show you I think the rain has put a lot of it off to be honest um, but yeah we'll see what's happening <laughs>
hell, I am now back home. Um, town wasn't brilliant. Uh, I don't know if it was the weather or what, but there just wasn't that like, Christmassy atmosphere. Um, there was a bit in the middle of town, you've possibly seen a clip of it, that was like fire and fake snow out. Um, and getting covered in fake snow is probably the most Christmassy I felt while I was in town. Uh, it was incredibly busy everywhere. So that was Christmassy, I suppose. But because everything had sort of been moved to indoor locations, there just wasn't that atmosphere that there usually is. Um, but I got the jobs done that I needed done. And I did get some more of the Christmas presents and I got some Christmas cards. Um, hopefully there'll have been some bits I've been able to show you. Um, just to give you that festive feeling. I did get, though, uh, Greg's hot chocolate in a nice Christmassy cup. Your festive pick-me-up. Um, I actually got that for free um, when I downloaded the Greg's app. So if you download the Greg's app at the minute as I'm filming this, you get a free hot drink and a free festive bake. Now, I've never tried the festive bake, but as I was getting it for free, and I am a bit peckish, I thought I would get it. So I'm going to try that now and I'll let you know what I think. I don't like cranberry sauce and I think it's got that in it. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. It is warm, which is a plus. Um, so I'm going to try that now and let you know what I think. Does anyone else prefer, this is maybe a controversial opinion, does anyone else prefer a Greg's hot chocolate to like a Costa or a Starbucks? I think Greg's do the nicest hot chocolates. Um, so it was a really nice treat to get one of those for free. Um, but let's try this festive bake. I don't like this the dog is literally sniffing away next to me you can probably hear him whinging let me see if i can show you him Chichi. <laughs> he's sat there just waiting for some of this so if i don't like it he'll probably be getting some of it but let's give it a try okay i think i have only got pastry and turkey there but from what i've tasted Pretty good. Um, I'll have a couple more bites till I get to the middle. And then I'll let you know what I actually think. So I'm about halfway through. And while I wouldn't choose it over like a sausage roll or something. It is quite nice. So if you like a Greg's Bake. I would suggest trying the festive bake. Because it is quite nice. It's got a bit of an odd flavour. I'm not sure if it's the stuffing. It's one of those things that you can't really decide whether you like it or not. But I, I think I like it. I would recommend you go and try it, even just for the sake of it being Christmassy. Um, out of 10, I'll maybe give it about 6. Um, but definitely worth trying. So, yeah, quite pleased with that. So, before I take the dog out for a walk, I thought I would just do you like a little mini haul of some of the stuff I got in town. Obviously, some of the stuff that is for Christmas presents and the cards, I'm not going to be able to show you because this is going up before Christmas. Um, sorry if you can hear rustling. I've got a bag down here of like dog treats for Christmas and the dog is determined to get them before Christmas. Um, but yeah, I thought I would do a little haul. Um, pretty much all of it was from Home Bargains. Um, a couple of bits from Wilco um, and Poundland. Um, so I'm just going to go through it with you and show you some bits that I got. Most of it is dog stuff to be fair, like dog and cat stuff. Um, so if anyone out there has dogs or cats, Definitely head to Home Bargains um, to get all of the Christmassy treats because they have so much in at such reasonable prices. Start with the non-pet related stuff first. So first of all, I got two boxes of these candy canes. These were only 99 pence each. Um, and as you can see, you do get quite a few in there. I like to include these in the Christmas Eve boxes that I make up. And honestly, I'm just a sucker for a candy cane as a snack at Christmas. And you can't go wrong for 99 pence. Then I got a pack of these tree decorations and some of these puds. Does anyone else remember these puds from like years ago? I feel like they haven't been around for ages and then now all of a sudden they are back. Um, so they were... One ninety nine for the puds and one forty nine for twelve tree decorations. Which don't worry, I won't be putting them on the tree because the dog would definitely get them. But we're just going to have them as some Christmas treats. And then I also got two bags of chocolate coins. These were 
These were only 99 pence a pack and you do get quite a lot in there. There seem to be more in there than there normally is. And I think what I'm actually going to do with these is put two of them in each day of our advent calendar. So as you can see up there is our new advent calendar for this year, which I actually showed in last week's video. And I couldn't decide what to put in it. So I think I might just put a couple of chocolate coins in each one and a dog treat as well, just so there's something for all of us. And then I also got these two baking kits. As I said, I fancied doing some Christmas baking. Um, so these were actually from Wilco. They were £2.50 each. This one is Christmas tree biscuits and then snowmen cupcakes. Um, so you've got eight biscuits in this one and six cupcakes in that one. All you need is butter, water and egg, oil and water. Um, so for £2.50 when it pretty much gives you everything really that you're going to need. I mean, butter, everyone has in the house anyway. Water, obviously, all I need to get is some oil. Um, so, yeah, I thought they were really, really good value. And even if, like, you've got kids, from what I can tell on the back for the instructions, it seems like it's going to be really, really easy to do. Um, so if you're looking for, like, a little Christmas activity to do with kids or anything like that, or even if you just like me and fancy doing some baking, but you're not the best baker. Um, I think these are really, really handy to have in. So I'm definitely going to do at least one of these today, I think. And then I'll maybe save the other one for nearer Christmas. On to the pet stuff. So starting with a couple of toys I got. I got this one for my cat, which to be honest, it seems like the dog wants it. <laughs> uh, I got this one for my cat, which actually lives at my mum's house. Um, again, all of this was from Home Bargain. So you get a pack of two. And that was only £1.49 for the two toys. And then the other one was this little like spiral Santa plush. That was 2 99 but it is quite a big toy. It does have a squeak in it as well. And we actually got him a reindeer one of these last year and he still plays with it now. Um, so I know he's going to love that. Then I got lots of pedigree and baker's snacks. So... He's barking because he wants them. The bakers, I got the sizzlers and the all sorts. These were 99 pence each. I always find home bargains to be really, really good value for all this sort of thing. So the sizzlers and then the all sorts. He absolutely loves those. And then these are new. We've never tried these before. These were 179. And as you can see, they're almost like this sort of toothbrush shape. Um, but they reminded me of um we get him these treats out of wilco near christmas they're in like festive like turkey and sprouts and things like that um and it looks like they're made from the same stuff as them so i think he'll really like them i have double checked the ingredients and there's definitely no rawhide in them and i think they'll be really good for his teeth um so yeah we've got some of those to try to go with his christmas presents and then he absolutely loves everything pedigree. So we got some of these Dentistix Chewy Chunks, some of these Rodeo Swirls, and then we also got some Jumbone Minis. All of these are in like the Christmassy flavours with like the little green bow on the packaging. Um, so the Jumbones were one twenty nine. The Dentistix Chunks again one twenty nine. And the Rodeo Twirls were 129 as well. So 129 each for all of those. Um, again, as I said, home bargains always really, really good value, especially when it's like the branded stuff. It's a lot cheaper than anywhere else I've found. And then for my cat Benji, I got some of these Webox sticks. He loves these, but these are special Christmas ones in turkey and cranberry. And then I also got some of these Licky Licks in the same flavour. So they were 99 pence each for the sticks and the Licky Licks. And then I got this advent calendar for him as well. A special cat's advent calendar. Look at him. Did you? What are you doing? Um, a special cat's advent calendar for 199. We get him one of these every year. So I know that he's going to really enjoy that. Look at him trying to get that toy. Um, yeah, so I know that he's going to absolutely love that. So really good value. Um, so yeah, that is the little mini haul. I'm now going to take the dog out for a walk because he's going to keep whinging now that he's seen all of this. Um, so I'm going to take him for a walk. And then I think when I get back, I'm going to do some of that Christmas bacon and then settle down with a Christmas film.
so it is a little bit later on now and um, it has got a lot darker outside the weather is not looking great uh, as you can see i have now got my hair tied back the sand hat is on and we are going to be doing some christmas baking now i think in my little haul earlier i did show you the baking kits that i got from wilco and um, but i'm just going to show you again the one that i'm going to be doing now i'm only going to do the cupcake one the one that i am doing now it makes six snowmen cupcakes uh, you get pretty much everything you need in the packet so you get these four packets here and then all you need is vegetable oil one egg a little bit of water and then you do also get the little bun cases for your cupcakes in there as well how cute are those the little snowman scarves absolutely adorable along for a little bit of the baking process and hopefully at the end I will have a good outcome to show you. I am not the best baker, which is why I really like these kits. Um, but again, they could be really useful if you're looking for like a fun Christmassy activity to do with the kids. Or if like me, you're just not a very good baker, but you do want to make something. Um, so let's get going. First thing we need to do is preheat our oven to 160 because we are a fan oven. Let's just do that now. There we go. Okay, that is preheating. I am going to get on with mixing up the rest of the ingredients. together and smooth as smooth as it's gonna be so now we just need to transfer it equally into these six snowmen bun cases so all six bun cases filled for anyone who is interested and might be doing this kit it did work out at about three tablespoons of the mixture into each bun case so now the oven is up to temperature we can just put those in so as you can see they need to be in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes our oven does cook a little bit quicker than expected normally so I'm going to come and check on them after 20 minutes all well, that 20 minutes has passed i am going to go and wrap some christmas presents so i'll take you along for a little bit of that as well and then we'll come and see what they're looking like as i said at the start of this video i want to try and get them all pretty much given out before december um so i'm going to finish wrapping up the ones that i know need to be given out and then all i really have left to do is a couple of like my mum and richards um so yeah i'm going to do that while that's happening and uh, obviously i'm not going to let you see any of the presents but I'll do a sort of bit of a time lapsey thing um, of wrapping them with some nice festive music over the top, of course. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The tiny... Just to quickly jump in here, these Santa Claus bags for anyone wondering. I did actually get a couple of years ago now from Matalan. Um, I would highly recommend checking there if you are on the lookout for any Christmas stuff. It often gets overlooked and sometimes they have some of the nicest Christmas stuff in. I think these only cost about £4 each. Um, but yeah, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. We bring to you and your kids. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding and bring it out here. The tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy
I somehow seem to have changed a setting on my camera that it's cutting off after 10 minutes. So I have just discovered that a couple of the clips that I filmed there, it didn't actually even film. Um, so I just wanted to show you that I did wrap more than two presents. I managed to get all four of them done. Um, so that is everybody's done now other than one of Richard's and a couple of my mum's. Um, I got all four and the pets done. So yeah, I definitely think I am on track for getting them all done and given out before December so that I can just relax and properly enjoy the build up to Christmas. Um, but I think by now the cupcakes should be done um, baking. So I'm going to go and take them out, see what they look like and then leave them to cool before we do the icing. So I will show you the rest of that as well. The buns are out of the oven. I'm going to be honest, I'm impressed I haven't burnt them. They're actually looking pretty good, except they are a lot lower, if I show you. They're a lot lower in the bun cases than I expected them to be. I thought they would be disappointed there. I suppose for £2.50 you can't expect much. And as long as they taste nice, that's the important thing. So we're going to leave them to cool for a little bit. Um, and then we will be back to decorate. So as I suspected, the icing didn't exactly go as far as you would like it to so I would suggest if you are going to get this kit just invest in a little bit of your own icing sugar just so you can have some to top it up with as it definitely hasn't fully covered the buns but we're going to add the rest of the decoration and just see how they turn out I think they're going to taste nice they smell really nice Hopefully they'll at least taste good, even if they don't look perfect. And just like that, we are done. So while them, sorry, you can hear the dog sneezing. While they might not be perfect and there definitely wasn't enough icing to cover the buns and my placement of the eyes and mouths is definitely questionable, I am very happy with how they have turned out. They smell amazing and hopefully they will taste really good too. I will update you all in the description as to how they actually tasted. But I hope you've enjoyed this little baking segment. Um, I've really enjoyed filming it and I'll possibly bring you along for when I do the Christmas biscuits in a future video. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy one of these tonight and read some of my book. Well, and I think that is going to bring an end to this week's episode of Vlogmas. Uh, I am just going to spend the rest of the night reading my new Christmas book. This is The Merry Christmas Project by Kathy Bramley. This was just out of the works for like, I think it was like 2 dollars something like that. Um, but I do love a good Christmas story. Um, so I'm just going to spend the rest of my night reading this. Apologies for the weird colouring. I've got the Christmas light shining on me. Um, yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of my night reading this. Possibly have one of those cupcakes as well. Um, but I really, really hope that you have enjoyed this week's Vlogmas. Um, next week, I think it should be Christmas afternoon tea that you will have to watch. Me and my mum are going for Christmas afternoon tea at the Helena Thompson Museum. We did it last year and it was absolutely delicious and it was so fun and festive. So we've booked to do it again for this year. So I'm going to take you along for that next weekend. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. There's still lots more Christmas fun to come and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're feeling very festive. Bye.